I want to bring in now 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel. Ray Daniel's been here over the weekend in the mornings, starting at midnight, a couple of nights when things were still being picked up like that. Uh, hours of peaceful protests last yes. night. Not as big of a crowd. Kansas City police here. Tear gas did end up being used, so a lot later in the night than it had been. Around 10, 15 is when things started to change, right? Yeah, that's when they started to change. You know, Kansas City police had stated that they there were people who were detained that had rocks filled with bags, uh, you know, bags filled with rocks in them as well as urine-soaked items. Um, so that's why those people were detained. And we also know that there were about 20 arrests that were made. Uh, we're hoping to get a specific number later today. But again, like you said, Lindsay, this was a peaceful protest for the most part. You know, people were expressing their frustrations and concern. And then the second wave came in. According to KCPD, officers made 151 arrests from Friday through Sunday. And while there were far fewer people last night, police did deem the protest unlawful around 10 15, 10 20 when objects were thrown at officers. We do know at one point yesterday evening, police actually brought in extra officers to help with that response. We have to protect these folks uh, that are out, you know using their First Amendment rights and they are protesting, they are, they are you know, speaking their mind and, and we are hearing them and we have to be ready to protect them, but it requires a lot of officers. So, Lindsay, there were several conversations that protesters were having with police officers about ways to make change. Some of that included, you know, body cameras on each and every officer as well as a citizen's review board police policy reform, and then also continuing to have those conversations about race relations when it comes to police. Absolutely. Trying to make their voices heard. Ray, mm -hmm. thank you very much. And so there was not a curfew last night. We have not heard about a curfew for tonight. The plaza is still closed today after that fourth night of protests. Taylor, back to you.